Hi, my name is Rob Hosking, and I'm the Student Council President for 1987-88. And with me, I have Shannon Burke, and Shannon is going to be the president for uh, next year's Student Council, 88 and 89. Okay, you want to say something, Shannon? Uh, sure. I just want to let everyone know that we have a great group on council. I'm just going to name a few of the people. We have myself as president. Jeff Coons is our vice president. Um, we also have uh, Lyle Harris as our second vice president. We have Roger Ciccone as the secretary and Fiona O'Brien as fundraising. Our social convener is Tristan Cass. Our treasurer is Julie Wheeler again, and Jeff Pitsadney is also our advertising. Uh, Stacey Hutchinson is taking over dance, and Diane Bedford and Paul Kraus are in charge of our athletics. And I think it's going to be a really good year on council this year because we have uh, new people, and I think that the council kind of needs that to get some new ideas and new inputs on that. Okay, now we're just going to say a little bit about um, our Spring Fling. The last interview we did, uh, we talked a little bit about what was coming up. And uh, we, we were really happy about the success of the Spring Fling this year. Everything seemed to go really well, and uh, there was a lot of student involvement, which is really nice this year. And we had everybody there. The gym was always full with uh, participation. And we had a slave auction in which we made $466, and that's going on to Amnesty International. And uh, so that helped them out a bit. And we also have an, an Amnesty International club in the school, and that'll help them get started for next year. And we had uh, our jello eating contest and the boat races and uh, the lip sync contest. And the winner of that lip sync went down to St. Catharines to the Air Band uh, 89 at the Garden City Arena. And that was really successful. Uh, even though we didn't place, they did an excellent job. The Exciters went on. And that was Julie Morris, Laura Johnson, and Wendy Jackson. And they did a really good job and gave a really good showing for our school. And we were happy to see the people that participated in that. And along with the, uh, that, we had um, Jack Aranda, which is a local band. And they came to play at the school and uh, did a great job. And there was a lot of uh, enthusiasm with that, too. And they did a really good job. Uh, and the members of the band were all former students of the school. And uh, with that, we also had the uh, f spring formal this year, which went extremely well. And um, Shannon was the dance representative, and uh, I'll just ask her to say a little bit about how that went. Sure. Um, this year's formal, we had a lot of support from the students, not only in buying the tickets and coming out, but we also had a lot of support in those helping. Uh, a lot of friends stayed and helped. And I think CFNY did a great job, and I know everybody was really happy with that. And I hope that our formals that we have next year will be just as good as a council, as the new council. Coming up, we were talking about maybe having more road shows in the year and just different things to do with the dances. And so I, I hope everything goes well. <laughs> Well, that's uh, because the year's winding down, we don't have too many new things coming up. There is the, uh, the happening in the park in which a couple of our lip sync uh, competitors will be there, and uh, hopefully they'll uh, do quite well there. There's going to be uh, all kinds of things like that going on there. But uh, I just wanted to say that it's been a great year, and a great two years, actually. And um, we, uh, have, I've really enjoyed being on council. We've had an excellent council this year, and I'm just... Um, Oh, the graduation is going to be coming up in the uh, the fall, November. The date is, I believe, set for the 11th. And I don't know, that could change, but uh, we've already started working on that, getting the hall and that kind of thing. And uh, it's uh, hopefully will be as good as last year, and it certainly went well. And we're also contemplating getting gowns and caps for all the graduating students this year. And that'll be a, quite a nice change, I think, because everybody will be um, looking the same, and it'll just be really a nice a nice touch to add to the ceremonies that they already uh, the way they already are. And uh, I just want to say that it's been a great year, great two years on student council, and I've really enjoyed it, and I'm going to miss it. And when I go on uh, next year, it's uh, I'm going to look back and just think what a great year and a half. But I'm really confident that Shannon and next year's council will do a fantastic job, and I know they'll uh, they'll uh, do their best, and I'm sure it'll be great. Do you have anything else planned though for, for next year? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, I hope that I'll be able to do uh, as good a job as Rob did because I know he did an excellent job. And I know the students were really pleased about that. One thing as a council we'd really like to work on is getting the entire school involved in everything. And in the starting year, we're really going to try to work on grade nines to get them involved in as many things as we can. And I think we're going to try to generate a lot of school spirit just by having, not necessarily having more ideas activities, but improving the activities we already have. And I think it's really important to get the school involved because like you don't go to high school you only go to high school once so we want to make sure that it's good for everyone and hopefully we'll be able to have some good activities and like I said we have a brand new council so maybe we'll get some new ideas generated and we'll be able to have a good year but I hope we'll be able to do as well as the past council has. Great. Oh I guess that's about it. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, this year we're going to be losing uh, quite a few really excellent teachers and an excellent principal. Mr. Mitchison is going to be moving on to uh, be a superintendent in the board office and we're losing uh, Mr. DiMartino, Mr. Meisner, Mr. Robinson, Mrs. Lazenby, Mr. Muir, Mr. Petrowski, Mrs. Stewart, Ms. Hampel, Mr. Lamar and Ms. Uh, Spiotti and it's too bad to see the teachers go because they've all um, done an excellent job. We've, they've all participated in the student events this year and have really had an outstanding, done an outstanding job and we're going to be sad to see them go. And uh, just um, they w we just wanted to say a couple of the things the, uh, the student council president uh, does. Some people might think we just do nothing, but we actually do quite a bit. We, uh, we try to make sure, I think the big important thing is we try to make sure that everything runs smoothly and everything runs well and everything flows smoothly and if there's any criticism that comes back to student council we end up taking it and we have to p keep relationship relations up between students and between teachers and uh, make sure that everyone's happy and uh, we're responsible for what goes on in any kind of student event the assemblies um, spring fling all those student events we're responsible for the happenings there and uh, we're also responsible for student council meetings to make sure they run smoothly and to present new ideas and uh, things that people have presented to us and uh, Shannon, is there anything you want to say? Um, no, Rob, I don't think so. Okay. And uh, we just like to thank cable TV for putting together this spring fling this year and uh, putting it on the videotape and uh, airing it. it was, uh, it's nice to have that kind of support, and we really appreciate it.